Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dorlene Echeverria. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Forest Biomaterials. And today I'll be showing you how to make packing peanuts from everyday items that you can find in your house. First of all, before you get into the lab, you follow a protocol. So you need to put on your lab coat, glasses, and gloves. Remember, safety first. I have laid out all the ingredients required for the lab activity right here. As you can see, cornstarch, baking powder, glycerol, and water. Additionally, a few items to perform the experiments, such as paper cups, a steering device, and measuring spoons. The first lab activity consists in producing a packing peanut using starch and water. You add one tablespoon of cornstarch to a paper cup. And second, you add one tablespoon of water. You stir until the hard clumps are gone and it becomes watery. Microwave the paper cup for 30 seconds. And remember, time can vary depending on your microwave. And now you remove the paper cup from the microwave. And as you can see, this is my first attempt of making a packing peanut. I've already made my first packing peanut, but now I'm going to try a second time, and I wanted to make it fluffier. To do this, I'll mix one tablespoon of cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder to the paper cup. Additionally, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of tap water to the same paper cup. You're gonna stir until all the hard clumps are gone and it becomes watery. After the 30 seconds microwaving time, this is how our second packing peanut looks like. The third packing peanut is going to be the fluffiest. In order to achieve this, you mix one tablespoon of cornstarch, one fourth teaspoon of baking powder to the paper cup. Additionally, you add one teaspoon of glycerol and two teaspoon of tap water to the same paper cup. You stir until all hard clumps are gone and it becomes watery. The moment of truth. Let's see how this packing peanut looks like. You, you fill the first paper cup and this is the one that contains only cornstarch. Um, you, when you fill the second one, this is the second that has baking powder and cornstarch. As you go to the fill in the third paper cup, this one is the fluffiest. And what makes it fluffier is that it contains glycerol. As you may see from left to right, the first packing peanut is stiffer. It uses cornstarch and water. In order to make it fluffier, we have added baking powder. And as you can see, the third one is the fluffiest. So we have added glycerol. This is an example of two packing peanuts made with the same ingredients, cornstarch, baking powder, and glycerol. Nonetheless, different shapes were obtained. In order to test the performance of our packing peanut compared to a styrofoam peanut, this simple experiment can help you. The idea is to simulate how the packing peanuts could protect a chicken egg inside a box. So you drop it and see what happens. is the moment of truth. Let's see what happened. We were lucky enough that our chicken egg did not break from our tested altitude. Remember, if you're doing this at home, don't forget to put your egg inside a bag so you don't make a mess. For the next test, we want to show you that this renewable packing peanut can dissolve in water. Let's start by adding water to a blender. Once the water is in the blender, you add a packing peanut and start blending. It would take a few seconds. And you may see how the cornstarch-based packing peanut is dissolved in water. Now we're going to compare the water solubility of our packing peanuts against a styrofoam peanut. We'll start by blending the styrofoam peanuts in water for a few seconds. After both type of packing peanuts are blended, we can see how the cornstarch peanuts dissolve in water. On the other hand, the styrofoam doesn't dissolve. 
you can see clearly the water styrofoam phase separation. So now you know how renewable packing peanuts can be made. Good luck with yours!